Welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today I have a new troop for you, the Vampire Zooka. So what is a Vampire Zooka? Well, a Vampire Zooka is the newest prototroop coming to Boom Beach. Now I'm on a development build given to me by Supercell to show you this content. The update should be dropping in a couple of days for you guys. It's just like a normal prototroop, but, well, the mechanics are like a normal prototroop, but um, the Vampire Zooka is different from the normal Zooka. So if we go to the normal Zooka first, she has 320 HP at a maxed out level. She has 628 damage per second. Now if we go over to the Vampire Zooka, she has 880 health. Um, that's about triple, a little less than triple the HP of a normal Zooka and a lot less damage per second. But you know what? If you click on the damage per second, you can see a self-heal. So the Vampire Zuka will actually heal herself from the damage she deals. Kind of like um, Life Leech, like Life Leech tribes and the Life Leech Mega Crabs that we've seen. Um, so it's gonna be super cool. She also moves faster and I think she has a longer range than your normal Zookas. So here's what we're going to do. We're just gonna hit attack, we're gonna drop my troops, and we're just gonna see um, what they look like in battle. So I have 14 in one boat. You know what? They're moving a little bit faster, but honestly not that much faster. And you can see them healing up themselves from their shots. Do you see that? Yeah, it's just like Life Leech, I'm pretty sure. And it's pretty cool, but uh, I'm gonna jump up to like a higher level and then we'll test them out up there. You know what, better yet, let's jump into an operation because that's normally what you use Zookas for and we'll do a couple attacks using Life Leech or using the Vampire Zookas and we'll see what they look like. So I probably should have scouted this out beforehand. Not really a Zooka base and I also don't really have any HP. Let's just drop my troops on the bottom here just to watch them walk up. They move a lot faster. I think they do have about the same range as a normal Zooka. But you'll, you just saw that a mortar did not one-shot my troops. Also, they seem pretty weak. Um, they don't deal that much damage. So I don't really know how well these Zookas are going to work. I want to see how much they heal up. What? I'm pretty sure my troops aren't really dying. They're healing up so fast. So I think every fire that they hit they heal up 800 health at my current level, which means that one sniper tower cannot take down a Zooka. That's really good. I don't really see them being used in operations just because operations you typically are doing a smoky hit when you use Zookas, but I could definitely see them being used for your main base as well because if they're healing up themselves, I do not see them healing up each other. They're definitely not healing up each other. I know that they have little healing rings, but yeah, they're definitely not healing up each other. But they are healing up themselves about 800 HP per second, or per hit, which is pretty good. You know what, I was expecting kind of like a bluish tint when I heard the vampire zookas were a thing. I'm fine though, you know what, we're, we're jumping into Halloween season, so I'm glad Boom Beach is doing something like this. I don't know how long these troops are gonna last for, I would guess probably about a week. That's about how long we've seen. Um, that's about how long we've seen the proto troops before. But just taking a step back, I used all zookas. Well, all zookas on this base design, and I took down so many buildings. Like I would not even be able to get close to that if I was bringing regular zookas. So I, I do want to try something. Oops, that was a mistake. I do want to bring half Zookas, half um, Vampire Zookas, because I feel like it might not work very well, but I feel like it might give us a glimpse at the differences between the two kinds of troops. So we're gonna scout out Mercury. I mainly just want a base that doesn't have rocket launchers on the beach. Here we go. Okay, so really cool okay i like i like the effect the vampire zookas have and we'll be able to see a speed difference right off the bat here we're actually just gonna shock the doom cannon so my troop can take down mines so you can definitely see a difference in movement speed but you cannot see a difference in um color versus the two and you saw there that we hit so many mines and i lost a ton of normal zookas come on guys 
Okay, so I can't really tell if the vampire zookas stand back. Those might be vampire zookas, those might not be vampire zookas. We really cannot tell at this point. But what we can tell is the vampire zookas are healing up themselves, which is really cool. I always like it when troops heal up themselves. Whenever we have life leech, mega crabs, or tribe boosts, that's like the best troop to use usually. Well, I should take that back. There are definitely troops where life leech is pointless. And on a troop like Azuka, I would typically say life leech is pointless. But what makes this okay is the fact that, okay, we're actually gonna try to, let's just sit in the dead zone here. What makes this combination okay, that was a mistake, take out the mortar, not with flare. What makes this combination okay is how much HP my Zookas actually have. Because if my Zookas did not have that much HP, Life Leech would be pointless. But the fact that my Zookas, these Vampire Zookas, heal up themselves fully after every single hit is really, really good. Like, I'm pretty sure it just heals up your HP, right? It was about the HP of a troop, which is cool. So if a defense fires at the same rate as a Zooka fires, then that's pretty good. I do want to check something though. If we get the health every second or every shot. Is it 800 health every second or every shot? I guess it wouldn't really matter because the troops have 800 health. But did you see the resistance the Zookas had against the flamethrower? That was really cool. So I'm hyped for this troop to come out in the main base. I probably won't play with them too much. I might use them on my low level account. I do want to shoot a low level video soon for you guys. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to show you guys this gameplay because I feel like this is something that you guys would want to see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, your little neighborhood warning to use code GOSMIC in the shop whenever you are trying to buy something in Boom Beach or any Supercell game. It could be Brawl Stars, it could be Clash Royale. Nobody likes Clash of Clans anymore. If you're playing Boom Beach, you probably don't play both, so I can say that. But if you play both, I like Boom Beach more. I know there are, I know that Clash of Clans is more popular and uh, more developed and probably a better game, but I like Boom Beach more. There we go. Finally, two attacks of only using Zookas, and I was able to take down a very large portion of the base. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like as always, and I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.